Good morning, Darren from Vagabond Life. Welcome back to the channel. Um, as some of you have probably experienced in your caravans and motorhomes, homes, um, now and again, you break a string on these blinds. And um, my lovely wife, Shelley, who's holding the camera at the moment, <laughs> um, has a habit of um, closing the blind just by using one side and it puts a lot of strain on the single string or cord and it snaps which is what's happened to this one so you really need to be moving it either right in the middle or each side of it evenly not on one side Shelley. <laughs> anyway so what we've got to do is somehow try and fix this thing here so I have done one before although I've forgotten most of how I did it um, but we'll have an attempt to do this one and, and um, film it at the same time Um, so what you'll need, I think it, it takes about two and a half or three meters of one and a half mil black cord. Um, what you'll see actually on, on here um, is on the on the outsides and here on, on, on both edges um, there's white cord and then the two that run down the middle are black. Um, so that's yeah, you can get it from Bunnings or uh, Mitre 10 Mega, where I got this from, uh, and it's, it's just one and a half mil black cord. Is that what you want? And you also need a number one or a one mil. I think it's a number one star drive um, for the screws on here. So we'll um, make a start and see how we get on. So basically we've got to take these apart so we can, can open it up and, and get to um, a bit of cord. I'll just take these two out for the moment and we'll just sort of see how we're going. These ones as well. together so I don't lose them like I normally do and then this should pull apart so a bit of, bit of pressure it'll just pull apart like so Okay, so I've got the bottom of this pulled apart. Um, so what we've got to do is slide this bottom track here off the fly screen, um, which then enables us to to thread the new one through. So this should come off there. comes off like that. I'll put that aside and then you can see here where this actually goes. So it's 
so you can see it's coming down here it's running along there so let's have a look at this other side and get all this apart like that and then that should slide off there as well Right, so where we're at is that's where it's actually broken here. So it starts from this side here and it comes up and along the bottom of that, that bottom track here and then it goes up there along the top of here down this side and then it would run that way and then down into here which is held on that side so it's quite a complicated it's quite a complicated um, setup but once you get your head around it you can you can fix this yourself so we'll have a go and see how we get on so we, we need to um, get rid of all of this um, cord here so we'll just undo it from out of there. It just wraps around that, comes out and it just feeds feeds in through here and up through there. So as long as you remember it just goes into that V sort of slot here and then up into the corner. So I'll take that out of there. And pull that through through there and then this has just got a bit of um, like a double sided tape on here just holding this um, this in place so that just needs to be peeled off Can be pulled out of there. Right, so that's that bit done. So at the end of this video, I'll put in exactly how much cord I used. I, I just bought um, 10, 10 meters of it, just in, so I can got something handy for the next time um, Shelley breaks one. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll be a while away. Okay, so we'll just carry on. We'll go the same way as we, we just did then so we don't forget. So this goes down through here and out through where that V was in here. And then you've just got to feed it up through all of the other louver. So just poke it through all, all of that. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to get through all of them. Let's take your time with it. So of those of you who um, have been watching the channel for a while, you'll know that I'm just about to start back down kiwi fruit again so I want to get this done before I head over there so you can see it's, it's come back up through there and then it runs along the top of here just feed, feed it all through make sure you've got a bit of slack there so it comes along the bottom of there and then it feeds up through this one Oops. So it's just the same thing, just um, take your time and 
Sometimes I think if you grab a whole lot together, you can feed it through like that. The first time I did this, it, um, it took me ages to try and figure out how to do it. But once you um, once you get your head around it, it's actually not too bad. It's not something I necessarily want to do all the time, but... <laughs> Okay, so we'll just pull up a little bit more slate through there. This comes along. And you just gotta go down through here. Okay, so we've got it through all of that bottom blind there, and we've got our our two strings crossing over in the middle here. So it comes in the side, goes along, goes up that one, along here, down that one, along there, and back down, and then they will be held on each corner and this over here. Alright? So that's sort of where we're at so far. So now we've got to slide this bottom piece back onto this um, fly screen mesh. So we'll try and do that. Just trying to uh, remember how to do all of this. Okay, so we've got to slide this back on and keeping the string on the outside because it's going to end up slotting in down the end there. Again, just take your time. Still not 100% sure I'm doing this right. No, I'm not doing it right. Okay, so I made a little bit of a mistake. Um, what you've got to do is leave one of these black strings uh, not attached like the last one I, I ran down through the blind as well miss that stage out and just leave it leave it like that um, because we've got to be able to slide this rail back on that blind um, and I'll show you how to do that now so basically this the string just sits it's in, in here so thread this back on back on there just keep on pulling on that string making it sure it's tight I hope you're managing to follow this all right. <laughs> it's not uh, the easiest thing to film. And then you'll see that that's sitting there like that. And that goes down through there. And that'll be the same on this side here. Okay, so we've got this all all through and the bottom the bottom um, guide there on um, so now we'll go through and we'll just stick this tape down back over the this string at the top here so just make sure it's kept tight and just um, stick that back down okay so We'll thread this back through and let's have a look at through there so it goes through there just making sure I try and do this right <laughs> It's 
really not a job I enjoy doing this. Um, okay, so we'll start putting it together and um, see what happens. <laughs> So now that we've got these both clipped together in here, you can see we can how it's crooked and that can be adjusted on, on that string. So we'll just fix this here temporarily. Same with the other side. And we may we may have to loosen this off yet, I, I'm not sure. And then we'll assemble these screws, these four screws that I took out initially to get this all apart. And we'll put these in so it doesn't all fall apart while we're trying to adjust it. Okay. Hopefully that's going to work. Or hopefully it's going to give you some idea of how it all goes together. Okay, so what we found, um, as you see here, the white string is quite quite loose in here. Um, so what we found, um, basically I've just undone it again on this corner here, and we can adjust that up so we've got a bit more tension on here. A lot of it's just um, comes down to sort of fine tuning it so you get the tension and everything right. Okay, so we finally we finally got it. It's only been um, it's six hours, I think, so far. It's been really quite simple. <laughs> now, a, a lot of it is uh, is just fine tuning it at the end, um, just putting different tensions on on the the strings, um, so that it, it comes up and down evenly. Um, so we've we've got it now, so that it's it goes up and down nicely. It holds in position, which is exactly what we want. Um, yeah, and like the other one, so, so yeah, happy days, <laughs> and um, so now it's just a matter of trimming off the, the string left over, um, so you, you end up wasting a bit of, a bit of string, um, uh, but basically you, you want to make sure that you've got plenty each end when you're fine tuning it, otherwise the string will shoot up inside here and then you've got to pull it all to bits again so um so yeah make sure you, you've got plenty of string on on both both corners before you you start mucking around with it otherwise yeah the string will shoot up inside and you'll be busy threading and pulling it apart and threading it all back up again so so we'll just cut all that off so we just want to leave a little bit there a little bit of length there so that we've got a little bit to play with in case we need to fine tune it in the future, like that, and then that can go back in the caravan, and um, we now have a blind that works. <laughs> so I hope this is, um, has helped you out. It wasn't exactly the easiest thing to film. Um, hopefully, Shelley's done a reasonable job of her camera skills, <laughs> and um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please think about doing so, it's, it's a, um, a great help to us and it helps to grow grow the channel and uh, spurs me along to um, make a few more tips and tricks or um, whatever, so um, yeah, um, 
Until our next one, we will see you later. See ya.